All right, so today, again, we are coming to you from the land of old cars and sweet dogs. Come here, sweet dog. Hey, you, stinker. You gonna sit down and chew on your bottom? Oh, she found something to itch there on her nose. Blew my intro completely. Anyhow, I wanted to say that uh, I'm coming to you from the land of old cars. You can see all these old cars. I got my lot that I've been working on. And we have some new, fresh blood, a new arrival that came in for a pre-purchase inspection. So I'm gonna highlight this little uh, sunshine yellow camper van, Volkswagen Westphalia today. And already off the bat, <laughs> customer's super excited. But these things have just gone nuts in price-wise in the last few years. I don't get it. I grew up driving a 72 Volkswagen van just like this one, minus the pop top. But I just don't know. I mean, uh, I like cars and all, of course, and I like a challenge, but there's, there's a career for you right there. And it's not just there, but it's spreading the love all around. Anyhow, these are pretty cool cars. Let's go over it a little bit before we bring it in the shop for an undercarriage inspection. First off, we're going to look in the engine compartment. And first thing we notice, it's not on fire. <laughs> I know that sounds funny, but you wouldn't believe how many of these things have caught fire. Okay, so we've got a 2-liter pancake engine. I think it's a Type 4. And it's got carburetors on it. Aftermarket carburetors, not the... Solexes that are original and it looks like it's a rebuilt engine because it says GEX down there I'm assuming it's a rebuilt engine. It doesn't sound very great and that's kind of sad It sounds like it's got a knock in it batteries over there. Everything is pretty rough pretty rough um, I'm Starting to get a vibe already it looks like this is the original color kind of a mustard yellow. It's got lots of cracking in the body Oh boy it's classic car inspections like this that I do that, you know, it takes me hours and hours to go through all this stuff. Interior is blue, sort of blue. Um, we got a lot going on here. So we're gonna do the mechanical inspection on this thing and, um, and just see what we got. Overall, I mean, it's okay. It made it here from an hour long drive, so that's good. Um, I'm a little concerned about the noise in the engine, and uh, let's get it up on the rack and see what she's all about. So, I think you can hop in the driver's compartment with me, and we'll back up the Sunshine Yellow bus. Wow, it's lots of different colors in here. We've got a white door on a yellow frame with the original mustard paint. It's been painted many times very familiar looking dash for me here in the United States this was a very common dash no tack of course this was always the mystery gauge heater controls here slide valves there was a boost fan someplace here I think it was there there was a fan you could turn on to help boost the heat exchanger to get some heat up here it's got a stereo and I don't know what this is looks pretty Pretty old for a 72. This one's got a sink in it, some type of bed there. I don't know what this is. Maybe a refrigerator under there. And then of course a pop top. She's a little rough, but let's take her in the shop and see. I gotta start this thing by pulling this thing, I think, and then turning the key. Oh, I don't have the key. Gotta come back for the key. I like these things, how they had the ingenious heater ductor they even connect there? How's it not connect there? The heat vents are supposed to run through the door and into the back. Something's not right though. There's no connection. Oh boy, the fuse panel is hanging. Ooh, okay. Uh, we're gonna be in for a lot on this thing, so put the key in the ignition. We gotta pull this knob. Yep, now we got some lights, got a fuel pump running. See if it starts. Come on, baby. I don't know if we can hear the engine 
it's got a it's got a knock that I don't like. Let's see. So reverse is down here, which feels good. Let's pull this thing in the shop. Let's see where we're going here. Oh, brakes, brakes, brakes. Something up with that. No power brakes. Got just manual brakes. This thing's supposed to have power brakes. I think the uh, booster is out. And of course, the steering is really tough because the tires don't have any air in them. Oh, brakes, brakes, brakes. Well, let's see what we can do here. Let's pull this thing in the shop without wrecking it. Oh, the windshield's got a big star crack. Wow. I didn't realize that. Okay. Single handedly strong arm suspension here. The engine sounds good except for the knock. I think there's something up with the oil. There's something up with a lot. Okay, we're in the shop now. I'm going to turn it off. Turn that off. And let's do an inspection on this thing. Let's get it up. I have a feeling we're going to find a lot wrong with this thing. Pretty cool bus. Oh, I can see this. Be a lot of problems. What the? Okay, so we got the sunshine yellow bus up in the air. Let's take a look at the undercarriage. I really have a feeling I'm going to break somebody's heart. By telling them all the bad news about this thing, but that's my job. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. It's not looking good. So we need upper and lower ball joints. Boots are all torn. That's not good. Not a lot of play in the tie rods. That's good. Tires are expired. What are these things? 1988s? The frame is all sort of rusted. I'm pretty sure this vacuum booster is shot. There's no assist. Master cylinder looks really old. I don't see any major rust though. It's got a hot dog brand new fuel pump there. The old fuel pump has been disconnected. Can't tell, that gearbox looks pretty clean. Starter looks new. Motor mount thing looks pretty good, whatever that is. It's been sitting around for a while. Look at all the dust. Turns pretty well. The brake shoes are not very well adjusted. CV boots broken. Oh boy, this thing needs a lot of work. Engine knocks, like I said. I think the oil's the oil's full, but something's up with it. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, not a lot of rust out in this one. Usually this cubby is pretty rusted out. Battery one is always rusted out. Yep, it's rusted out. It's actually got some engine sealing, not the correct engine sealing for the tin. Somebody used Home Depot pipe insulation. No, maybe not. Oh boy, where do you start on something like this? I mean, I, I don't know what to tell the person. All excited about buying it and spending a bunch of money on it and then spending a lot more money on it to try to make it right. Just seems like if you could just buy one that was done and in good shape to begin with, you might be ahead of the game. So I don't know. I think I'm going to not certify this bus for sure, um, but we'll see what she says. I know she's really excited. It's quite the dilemma. I'm going to break some hearts, and that's going to hurt. It's really going to hurt.